Hi everybody, we're going to spend a really quick minute going through Canvas just so you know how to navigate a Canvas course as you start getting used to academics in this learning management system. I've opened a course here, so I know to do this, you just hover over your courses. I'm in student view, so it's only showing me this one. If you click on it, it's going to take you to your home for that page. Most Wagner courses, I'm going to say 99.9% .9 has this page set up like this to be a syllabus page. Down here is your syllabus content. There's usually going to be information about when your class is, how it will be held, general information about your class. Up here, you might not have anything yet, but as you get into classes, your professor might make announcements. And so this is a good place to check to see if there are any updates, if anything has changed, if there's resources they're pushing out. As you can see, I, when I'm teaching a class, I'll, I'll send out like comics or videos that reinforce what we're learning in class. And so that's a good place to look. Canvas automatically creates a to-do list right here. And so this is listing everything that's due and when it's due and when it's coming up it'll be in your in your calendar as well. So down here you'll see everything that's highlighted is where there is a do something due. Now, every faculty is different. So this might not all look the same. Your faculty might not use the calendar function. They might not use announcements. So I'm going to teach you how to check three or four places to make sure you know exactly what you're expected of from your faculty member. The biggest mistake that I see from my students is that they think, oh, well, it's not obviously apparent on the home page. There's nothing due. Oh, there's nothing on the calendar. I guess that means there's nothing due. But truthfully, every faculty is different. Um, they find what works for them in their material and they use that resource. So for you, you have to check a couple different places just to make sure that you know exactly what you're supposed to be doing. Most classes are going to be using modules. So if you click into a module setting right here, It'll break down based on the week that you're in, typically, um, but you can go through and see where you're at and see the succession of your course. Typically, there's going to be your readings posted here, your assignments posted here. If you have a quiz, it might be linked here. So this is a good place to start to figure out if your faculty uses modules religiously, um, this would be a good way to stay organized. If they're using modules, typically everything lives in here, and so you can really focus on that. But let's say your professor doesn't use the calendar function, doesn't use modules. Um, that's a possibility. And if that's the case, you're going to want to go to your files. And when you go into files, you're going to see if there's a syllabus available. So here's a syllabus that's available for us. It's a Word document that you can download and it'll tell you what the professor's expecting for the course. That way, if the modules are empty, your calendars are empty, you still have a document that tells you what's going on in that class. You can also go into your week files, or if there's a list of files of readings, you can see those there as well. Also on the side, there's typically assignments, and assignments, if your faculty is using this, will tell you exactly what's due and when. So here you can see all of our discussion posts are listed with the due date, um, papers, quizzes are all living here. You can go in here and just see um, what what's expected of you for the next week. You can have it listed by date. So even if it's not in your calendar, you can see, oh, I, I do have a discussion for week six. So I need to do that this week because it's week six. Some of that is your time management skills. Um, and so if you find that you have any needs around that, please contact Student Success. We have academic coaching available. We can make a calendar if your professor's not using the calendar. So we can make sure that you never have to guess about what's due and what's not due. There's also a discussion board posts, which you can link here. If you're on an online class, as many courses are now because of COVID-19, you can just go here and see what's due. They'll, if you click into it, they'll have a prompt, and then you'll respond to that prompt um, below and be able to satisfy that part of your course. You can track your grades here if your faculty is using this for grades. Um, since I'm in a test viewer, it says I have nothing in, so I look like a very delinquent student, but that's okay. Um, and then you can track to see what your overall score in that class is. But again, if your faculty is not putting things in here regularly, and let's say you're getting maybe emailed your scores, maybe contact Academic Coaching and see if we can do a GPA run with you. Uh, we can sit down with you, show you how to do that yourself. There are some tools online to do that also. Uh, that way you know where you're standing. You don't have any guesswork. Everything's already ahead of you. Um, that's probably the most important features of Canvas. Feel free to look around 
and, and see what is involved. There's tons of things available here, and your faculty might use even more settings than the ones we've covered in this very, very short video. But I wanted to make sure you had a bite-sized video so that you knew at least the main points of where to look to see what's expected for you for this semester. If you have questions, please contact our office. You can contact Academic Support for Coaching. I will leave the links here, and you will be able to get in contact with anything that you need. We'll be supported from our office. I hope you have an excellent day. If there's any questions, you can contact me at my email, which is rross at widener.edu.